Hello, good morning. My name is Vincent from Airguns Europe. This is Dirk and Daniel and today it's the 4th of March 2023 and we are visiting the IWA gun show again. Um, today we're going to see all the latest news from all the airgun brands that we sell. So uh, let's take a look inside. So now we're at the Hudson booth. Last year I was here as well, and then they uh, introduced us the Hudson Blitz bullpup. Uh, up to then we already sold the normal Hudson Blitz, which was a fully automatic PCP rifle. Then they made a bullpup version of the rifle, which is way more compact. We sold lots and lots of these rifles. We had them in 5.5s, 6.35, and 7.62. I believe at the moment now the 7.62 is sold out, but the new shipment of Hudson is coming in in March. So then we'll be having these rifles back in stock. Uh, also, I see some other new rifles. Uh, they have the Factor. The Factor Sniper, which is a regulated PCP rifle, which is also adjustable. Now, with lots of Hudson Air rifles, they make them really powerful and strong, or like this one, fully automatic. But uh, they normally, they're not big in the market for regulated or adjustable PCP rifles. And with these rifles, they try to do that as well. Um, this one has got a, quite a large stock, um, which seems really, really good adjustable. but. Um, yeah, to my opinion, it's not the most best looking of stocks, but it probably works. Um, it's got an adjustable hammer, it's got a regulator which is also adjustable. It uses the same magazines as the Hudson Blitz does. And for the Hudson Blitz, I see a large one over there. Uh, last year we also first in got the new magazines for the Hudson Blitz. Which are these ones. Now this is a really large, high capacity magazine. It's one of the largest magazines in an air rifle, up to my knowledge. Uh, also, we will be getting these back in stock. We had these before, but we will be getting these back in stock in March. Um, yeah, really fun, especially when you're shooting a fully automatic rifle like the Hudson Blitz. Now, um, a thing we also sold quite a lot of, which was a new product last year, was the Hudson Jet. Now the Hudson Jet is a PCP pistol. Looks a bit like the Reximax air pistol. It's a regulated pistol. Uh, it's got rails on top for to mount like a scope or a red dot. It's got rails on the side. Um, back then, uh, this is off the market, but, but back then you would have to mount like an, um, an adapter to mount a silencer because there wasn't half UNF thread on it. What I really quite like about the rifle is that it's got um, different sides. Now the front side, of course, you can it's, it's foldable. The back side, it has one for using as a carbine, which is this one, or you could collapse it and when you would use it as a pistol, you would use this one because uh, with normal PCP pistols, it's always at this position, but then if you would use it as a carbine, it's way too close to your eye. So this is a bit better than uh, that. This was the Jet 1. These ones are um, sold in a suitcase. They come with a stock, which is easily to take off. This is the Jet 1. We also had the Jet 2. Again, like the Jet 1, completely sold out at the moment, but we will be getting new stock this month. The Jet 2 is basically the same pistol. It only has the Foster connector in front, uh, beneath here, instead of at the bottom with the Jet 1. And um, this thing has two tubes. So especially if you would want to use it as a carbine, um, it's really nice to have two tubes on there, so you would have more shots. Now this is the Hudson Jet 2. Apart from this and the Foster connector, which is over here, is the same air pistol as the Hudson Jet 1. And now on the wall with the new products from Hudson, they also have a Jet 3. Now, I can hear you thinking that then that would have three tubes. It hasn't. It's basically the same as the Hudson Jet 2. Uh, the only difference is that this one has got a quiet energy um, air moderator on it. Um, Apart from that, it looks 100% the same as the Hudson Jet 2, but I'm not that sure. Um, to my opinion, I would be better off buying the Hudson Jet 1 or 2 because then you could put on an aftermarket silencer and then you could make it a short one, long one if you would want to make it more quiet. 
or you could take it off to make it more compact. And with this, you can't take it off because it's yeah, it's molded plastic, so you can't uh, you can't take it off. But again, the new shipment is on the way. Uh, we will be hope to be getting. It should be uh, already in the Netherlands, but it will be coming in March. So we'll hope to get it soon. All right, let's take a look further. All right, so now we're uh, at the Epoch stand with Bill. Uh, Bill, could you tell me something about the Epoch Scout? Absolutely. Um, let me take you through the full gun first, and then we can ask some questions. A lot of people ask, how does this gun function? This is the valving system inside the Epoch. And basically, this is the plenum chamber. And the things we do differently is, we use this O-ring to drive this shaft this direction, and the O-ring that seals to drive the shaft the other direction, it's called a balanced valve, so it's slightly more closed than it wants to open. That allows us to use a solenoid valve at about 10 bar, pop a little bit of gas in here to open the valve. And then to close the valve, we use gases from firing that go down through the center of this valve to this very large orifice in the back and close it. So the important thing within an air rifle, in our opinion, is to get the valve open very quickly and closed very quickly. And that's how so we do it. So it's like a, a pull valve system. Uh, Excuse me? It's like a pull valve instead of the push valve. Well, uh, it, well, it's a balanced valve. Yeah. So where a lot of people don't understand balancing, but what you're really doing is you're, you're using one pressure to drive in two directions, so your net force can be actually reasonable yeah. Whereas if this were a regular PCP with a, a 400 thousandths orifice, yeah. you, the hammer you would need to open this valve would be tremendous. So it allows us to open a very large orifice very quickly and to close it very quickly. So okay. it's also very efficient. Probably. Very efficient. In, in 44 grain, um, 44 grain, 30 caliber, with this tank and the short barrel, we get 100 shots. Oh. So that's, but with the long barrel, we get more. And, so, this, and this rifle, it comes in with different barrels. It's, it yes. comes in 0.30, right? Yes, yes. It's and st right now we're shipping 0.30 caliber, and uh, in about a week we'll ship 357. We're still working on our 22 and our 25, which is coming. But we offer, we give you three liners in one caliber. So we have a, the 30 standard, and then a thousandth of an inch larger than that is our plus liner and then the thousand smaller is our minus line. So you can actually tune your pellet, not only the gun tuning, but the barrel tune by picking the right insert for whatever pellet you're using. Well, and um, yeah, this, this whole technology, it comes from the paintball world, it does. world doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, it does. I mean, it, it still took us five years. We've been making the paintball equipment for about 30 years. It still took us five years of development using the concepts in paintball to get the gun right. So it still took a quite a bit of development, but, um, and then from a tuning standpoint, people ask, how do we tune this gun? Well, what we have is, we have a low pressure regulator, which allows you to apply pressure to the opening, which in bars tend to, I'm not very good in bar, but in pounds per square inch, it's about 120 to 140 pounds that go in here. Then the board, the electronic board, allows for 40 settings, half a millisecond between settings for how long that valve stays open. Once you've done that, and you don't really have to play with it much, then your velocity is achieved by changing your high pressure regulator. And it's a little bit different than most high pressure regulators in that you do not have to empty your plenum to turn it up and down. It won't damage the regulator. It's right. called a balanced regulator, which means it'll just bleed the extra gas off without damaging the regulator. So you can tune up and down as you wish Without to, to all pressures, because press. some, with some air rifles you can put the regulator pressure down, but just with really small steps, but with this right. you can... Right, with this you can, right. you can yeah. turn it up and down without having to damage it. The, um, the magazine, well the barrel system is also very unique. We use uh, tapers, so there's a taper on this component and a taper in the transfer block, and basically we pull tapers together the way, with a ratchet. So the way it works is, if I pull the ratchet up, I can take the barrel right out. 
Okay, and then if I realign the barrel, and I have to do this where I can see, I put the barrel back in, and now I pull the ratchet. You can hear the clicks. It's pulling the surface together. Where we say the advantage of that is many air rifles use set screws to, and if you tension your set screws at different levels, you change your point of aim a little bit. We're using a, the full surface to pull those two tapers together. So it's, it's more of an even force than set screws at one point. Um, let's see. The, the board is very, pro, the, the, the trigger is incredibly light. This is, you can feel, pull, just feel that. That's the entire pull. Right? All right, that's it. That's it? That's it. Even when it's cocked, this is the same. That's right. Now, yeah. well, but we have to make it safe. So yeah. there's a momentary switch here that has to be hit first. So it knows if it's cocked or not. So you have to cock the action. Yeah. Then it won't, it'll, it won't fire now. You have to hit this momentary switch. And now that, that allows you to fire. Once you fired it, that switch goes off. You have to hit it. To start, you have to hit it every time until you learn your gun. Once you learn your gun, there are three modes. You can go into match mode, and you can program the timer. Say you're shooting a bench half an hour. That switch can be hit once. It'll stay on for half an hour, and you could continue to shoot. And then the final mode is hunt. In hunt, we turn, the gun speaks to you, tells you the settings. In hunt mode, we turn off the voice. And you do have to get it every time because if you're walking through the woods, we don't want you to accidentally misfire the gun. So um, that's the, and then we have some special features. For example, if you let the gun sit, if you let an air rifle sit for half an hour unfired, you get some static O-ring friction, means that you get some stiction. And you can program the gun for a timer and then it will automatically add five or six dwell points to the shot so that you can overcome that first shot. After you shoot it though, it goes right back to where it was before until that time expires again. So, so it's basically a smart air rifle, isn't it's it? Like that, pretty smart. Yeah, it is pretty it is smart. Pretty smart. Yeah. Well, it seems like one of the most sophisticated and advanced uh, PCP rifles at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, and, and you could also probably claim that as well, I know. <laughs> since and, you're the company. Yeah. And to give credit to the other manufacturers that have provided so much in the industry, our barrel systems are excellent, we love them, but many people have a liner that they, they love and they've used for years. So we've decided to accommodate, for example, if you have an FX liner and you want to order this gun, we will build you a barrel tube that will sleeve whatever FX liner, 800 millimeter, 700 millimeter, 600 millimeter, for that matter, Lothal Walther, if you, if, so if you want to use different barrels in our gun, we don't care. And we will actually build you, if you order them that way, we will build you the components necessary to house uh, other manufacturers' liners as well. That is pretty cool. So like a universal pl platform, most likely. Yeah, I mean, you know, people have, the, have especially air gunners, they have their liners, they spend a lot of money and time, they want and they love them. Yep. If they want to shoot that in this gun, we have no problems with it, and we will do what, whatever they need to make that easy. All right, so, but the gun, when you uh, normally buy it, it comes with three yes. sets of barrels. Yes, three sets uh, of barrels. Is, is it like a pellet barrel and a slug? No, uh, no. Or it's all within, it's all for tuning within the same. So when the slug liners come, you still get three slug liners. All right. So it's the sizing. So, you know, we found that sizing is very important. You need to get the right pinch on the pellet right so and and manuf depending on what manufacturer pellet you're using there are a lot of them within their various calibers uh, we give you the liners so that you can size to what you want and we have found already that people have a lot of opinions as to which one they like even with a fixed pellet like 44 44 uh, JSB we have customers who swear the plus liner is the best liner yeah. And we have other customers who feel the minus liner is the best liner. So, you know, we leave it up to you, but we provide the options. Yeah. Probably all depends on the regulator settings and all, all the distance that they want to shoot at. Maybe even yeah. temperatures to some degree. Well, pretty cool. 
All right, well, thank you for this information. Uh, we did order these rifles, so uh, we will be hoping to get them on stock pretty soon on our website. Well, I know they shipped yesterday, so. All right, then they will be. I don't be know how long it takes to get, but uh, <laughs> to the not too long. Not too long. All right. Well, thank you very much thank for you. your time. Yeah, Have a nice day. It. Good to meet you. Thank you. So we're here at the Element booth with Matt Dubber. Yep. Well, we all know Matt Dubber, so uh, <laughs> he can do most of the talking. We're here to look at the Hyper 7, which is the new scope they announced. Um, we're really interested. We've probably all seen kinds of videos on it. And I just wanted to ask, like, how do you think it really fits into the world of an air gunner? Sure. So obviously shooting air guns, you having to deal with learning about your tra trajectory and how to account for it. You know, you can get away if you're shooting a centerfire rifle or within, let's say, 200 to 300 meters with not knowing a lot about ballistics. You yep. can say, oh, you know, just hold a couple inches high. You know, you can get away with not knowing a lot, but the air gun, you have to figure all this stuff out. You have to dial your turret to learn a reticle, all of that. The whole idea with the Hyper 7 is that you don't have to think in mills or MOA or any of that stuff. You create a ballistic profile on the app for your gun. You send the, the profile over here. And all you need to do is know the range of your target and then either dial the range in and your scope will account for it for you. Yeah. Or use the uh, an external Bluetooth range finder to send the distance here and the scope will account for you. So no more like having to process and, and find a, a ballistic solution. Yeah. The scope does it for you and it's supposed to simplify everything. And aside from that, let's say, you know, you want a specific reticle for a specific type of shooting. You can pick a reticle or you can design your own reticle. Yeah. You don't need to, you know, pick a specific. <laughs> I'll just say that sentence again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can pick a reticle or you can design your own reticle. You don't have to worry about, like, am I going to make a mistake choosing this reticle? No. Because, you know, you can, you can just choose whichever one you want. So very versatile, and obviously the parallax all the way down to six meters. So as an air gunner, that gives you everything you need. And so like the entire yeah. optic is, well, optical is on, based on glass, but the reticle yes. is digital. Exactly. So, so you know, no pixels while it's, zooming it's in the, and stuff. It's the, the biggest, it's taking the strong points of both the digital and an optical system. Yes. Optical system, let's, let's face it, your eye is the best camera you can get. <laughs> so you're getting all that resolution that you'd see from your eye from the target. You're not looking at the at a, at a at a display screen from another camera. Yeah, it's that's the way you want to do it, and then the digital just gives you versatility and allows us to do all kinds of crazy things. So yeah. it's very exciting. It's like the we've all used these digital clip-on uh, options or the uh, digital scopes, of course, and of yes. course, at minimal op uh, magnification, it's really it's, it's it's fine. Everything is great. Yeah. But as soon as you zoom in, you get pixels. But yeah. This is not, of course, it's a fixed magnification. Yeah. But even but you've got that resolution yes. also. You can find, you can you can spot the small details. Yes. If you had a the same magnification on a digital system, you'd struggle to see on those pixels. And there's no what, delay. Yeah, exactly, no lag. No. Uh, no. And because there's no camera and display taking up a lot of battery power, no. this battery will last forever. What um, kind of battery is in there? It's, so it's a triple A battery. Oh. We thought, okay, let's use a battery that you can buy anywhere yeah. for cheap. So not 18650 batteries no, or so it's, different it's, sizes. No, it's a triple uh, no. A. It's easy to find, and this triple no. A, you can literally. I mean, we we when we on uh, on Tuesday when we came to set up here, we put the battery in, we turned the scope on, and we put the the auto auto shut off off. Okay. So it's been on this whole time, and it's still and functioning. it's still yeah, it's still at about 40 percent battery after all these all these days of use. So yeah. <laughs> So it'll last, it'll last forever. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's right. So, and yeah, it's not really difficult to have like a AAA battery in your pocket just no. in case. No, exactly. And, and even if it does, the battery does get low, it'll tell you, it'll say low battery emergency mode. And when it's in emergency mode, you can still use the scope, yeah. but it just draws less power and it'll stay on for another few hours. So that gives you plenty of time to like find another battery or, or swap the battery out. You don't have to worry about it suddenly dying on you while you're hunting or something. Yeah. So. And yeah. is it like a, maybe a critical question? Is it suitable for like clip-on optics, like night vision or thermal? Yeah, it actually works very well. Okay, yeah, fantastic. It works yeah. very well. And it's uh, a prism-based optic? Yes, or? Yeah, it's okay. prismatic. So it's like a stack? Yes. That makes all this compact and... Uh, Everything's yeah. very compact, yeah. 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 And so the mount, it is adjustable in MOA and it's also going to be an MRAD mount? Yes, okay. so 
Well, the, the it mount, doesn't really matter, it, I guess. It just, it's labeled MOA for this. Yeah. But, I mean, it's essentially the same thing. Just um, different brands. With the, with the Immersive series, which we just launched, no. the, mill, the mill versions will have mill mounts. MOA versions will have MOA mounts. But with this, because it's not sp specific to any unit, you can choose which unit you want to use. We just left it MOA. Oh, yeah. 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 And the, the app, it's a free app? Free app. Yeah. Free app. And so, there's a lot of really cool features we're adding to that as well. Okay, yeah. So, so it's going to be like, in time, we're going to see new features on it. New, new features. Options, yeah. and, and the actual uh, the actual mathematics behind the ballistics calculator is yeah. very, very good. As like, it, it, takes, it takes spin drift and um, everything into account. It's like, so no range it's cards, very no ballistic yeah. apps, no, no, nothing, none of no. that. None of that. Fantastic. You'll even see as you as you dial further out, you'll actually see the dot switch go over to one side for the I got any signals, I'm nerding out. <laughs> yeah. For the for the spin drift, it'll yep. actually account for that in the scope. Oh that's fantastic. Yeah. And it's got sensors in here for for elevation uh, it's got sensors for uh, uh, temperature, pressure, uh, humidity in the scope. Oh that's fantastic. Yeah. I'm learning out already. Yeah. What, was it already released or is it coming out? It will be second quarter this year. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. And well, I guess I can't really make this video any longer, but uh, <laughs> more information we'll put on the product page. We'll make a review of our own and it will probably have like the warranty we're used of with elements. Yeah, I think we might have uh, uh, a separate, a different warranty on the electronics, of course, like yeah. a three year or something. We're still yeah, yeah. figuring out the fine print of that. Yeah. But mechanically, it will have a, a lifetime warranty. So, yeah, that's, fantastic. That's the plan. All we need. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Perfect. Welcome everybody, my name is Daniel, I work at Airguns Europe and today we're at the IWA at the GAMO stand. Today I have in my hand the new uh, air rifle of GAMO. This is the Swarm Magnum Pro Gen 3, which means it's a third generation uh, loading system. It's actually quite comparable with the second generation loading system, which we already have in stock in the Magnum Replay. Uh, the newest thing about it, it has an inertia loading system, which actually means that you cannot double load it due to the fact that it has a magnetic stop on it. Very new, but also quite familiar in the replay we already sell. The new thing about this one is it has a different stock and it comes without uh, your iron sights. So in other words, it's a new, new air rifle, quite powerful, powerful, around 45 joules of energy. And yeah, it looks great. So we'll be happy to introduce this the coming year in our store. See you guys later. Okay, so now we're here at the stand from uh, from RTE Arms with Jacob. Um, Jacob, what, what's new in store? Well, uh, for this year, we decided to make a third generation of the Prophet. So we have uh, quite a few improvements. As you can see, we added a plastic cheek piece, uh, which is ambidextrous. So for left hand and the right hand shooters, yeah. we added this uh, adjustable rail. It goes from 20 to up to 150 MOA. So, uh, so you, you can cancel the bit? So yes, yeah. you don't need a special uh, uh, scope rings. You just use our standard rail and you adjust it with these two screws. Uh, you loosen and then you, with this screw you use to, to rise up or down to right. adjust, yeah. fine adjustment, yes. Yeah. Uh, we added the, the external hammer tensioning, the screw. So it's uh, simple if you're out uh, in the field, you don't need special tools. Yeah, because uh, it used to be so that you would have to adjust it with an Allen key and yes, now you could yes, adjust now it you just, uh, by hand. Yeah. It. Um, and uh, we, the system is redesigned in a way so it has uh, a lot less friction. Uh, so the cocking is much smoother yeah. and also the trigger has uh, more adjustment than before. Uh, so you can adjust the first stage the first stage force, the first stage travel, and second stage both force and uh, travel. All right. Yes, so these are the big improvements. We uh, also redesigned the valve because uh, um, so it's more, more durable and easier, easier to service. All right. And yeah. you don't have to change the whole block 
yeah. for, uh, for changing the valve. And all these rifles, they're, they're pretty well known because they're, way, uh, they're easy to adjust, aren't they? It's easy yes. to set the regulator pressure. Now yeah. it's more easy to set the hammer pressure because it's more like a knob on which you can turn. The MOA rails. Um, also a uh, rubber butt pad. Rubber butt pads. Yes. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, we don't have the, the stock sticking down. So this side is smoother and you can use it smoother as a back rider. Yeah. All right, perfect. Well, uh, we will be getting the, the new models in. They, they are in production already, yes, I can imagine. Yes, yes. Yeah. You can order and we will ship it out. Yeah, all right. Well, keep a close look at our website. We hope to sell these new models of RTE. And uh, yeah, all right, let's uh, go further. Thank, Thank you. you.